Fallows by Samuel R. Delaney. Carmen's Collet, A Tale of a Tale. Because this book is not the novel Fallows itself. Rather, it tells the story of the book Fallows. When you open the first page, there is the cover of a professional synopsis. This certainly puzzles people who came expecting a novel. But as we read on, we'll find out that the novel is hidden in the quotations. Fallows tells the story of a young Roman boy, Neoptolemus, who sets off to look for the fallows of a statue. Many forces yearned to find the treasure, but in the end, no one had any success. However, Neoptolemus is compensated by the happiness from the many love experiences he had on the way. Because of the many explicit descriptions in the intimate love, the book was famous for being inappropriate in the 20th century. But that is certainly not what earned it the reputation. If we are to understand the book, we must start from knowing what does the word phallos mean. The word comes from Greek, and it directly translates to phallus, the male symbol. And what does the phallos do? Pierre Lacan's theory would be of great help at this point. He is philosopher and psychoanalyst of the 20th century. His idea is generally that there is a sense of lack lying at the center of our desires, and the thing we keep longing, looking, and searching for is symbolized by the sign of phallos. Looking back at the book, what does the phallos stand for? Is it the statue that everyone wants? Is it love that our protagonist fervently searches for? Well, they're both direct, but what about thinking of the book itself as the phallos? The author tells us, we all look for a phallos, but we will never find it. This idea permeates his style of writing. He starts off the book in a synopsis that puzzles us and makes us suffer from not knowing where the story is. And in between the story, annoying analysis on the text cuts in to interrupt the narration. We would very much like to enjoy the whole story, but the author gives us only fragmented pieces. Reading the book itself is the process of searching for fulfillment, but failing to do it. But the book is certainly not trying to tell us you're never going to accomplish anything in your life. If you pay attention to the first page, you'll notice a tiny sentence here. There is always more surface to a shattered object than a whole. The story is shattered and incomplete, just like how real life is. There is never a moment of absolute wholeness, but that is exactly what makes the world complex and versatile. The beauty lies within the pain it inflicts on us. And we will always remember, one day we live, one day shall the fallows remain lost.